Guys, what's going on? It's your boy Coach Kimo again, back out of here with Coach Merlin. Now, the first thing we're gonna talk about today is the proper way to do a deadlift. Now, with the deadlift, it's one of the best exercises you can do in order to increase your rate of force production. What that's gonna be important for, sprinting, jumping, cutting. It's gonna increase all these measurables that are gonna help you elevate your game. Now, the first thing we wanna do is we wanna make sure that we have even distribution across the whole bar. So we'll make sure we'll get clips on both sides to make sure that weight doesn't move as we're deadlifting. Now, next thing we'll do, if you do have one of these platforms here, all you do is you'll drop your weight down, release it back, and we're gonna talk about feet placement. Now, for feet placement, what I'm looking for primarily is trying to get those feet underneath that hip, right? And that bar is going to be slightly over those shoelaces, so slightly in front of uh, those shins there. Now at that point, we're going to make sure we're right in the middle of the bar. What I like to do is I like to grip using these knurls out here where that rough meets the smooth. Once I find a good place, I'm going to get a good grip, wrap my fingers around it. My thumbs are going to point, I mean my knuckles are going to point towards the ground. And at that point, I'm gonna sit my butt down and flatten out my back. At that next point, what I wanna do is I wanna release the slack. So as I stand up, it's not somewhere what's gonna pull me, right? Release the slack, I'm gonna push to my midfoot, keep that bar close to me, and I'm gonna stand up. Now, one common mistake you often see with this is people's chest and hips come up at a different rate. You should come at the same rate as you're bringing it up and it should not be one versus the other. It should both come up at the same time, all right? So once you get that grip, stand through, so shoot your hips through, you'll reset, set yourself back up, release the tension, stand up out of it. Now, what we wanna practice is speed, because rate of force production is that maximum time we can apply force towards the ground. Now, if you wanna get that increase, we gotta do that in the less time possible. So speed's your best friend. Now guys, if you want to take your game into the next level, check out that bio right below here on Coach Miller's YouTube and take your game to the next level.